Hi there, on today's video I'm going to be unboxing the DeLonghi EC155. So yeah, this is the DeLonghi, DeLonghi, I don't know how you want to say that. I've heard it a few different ways on different videos, but I decided to get this EC155 and try this thing for myself. And I'm going to do an unboxing video here and later on we're going to do a testing video and then I'm going to do a compare video to another espresso machine that I have as well. So this is going to have like two, three, maybe four videos. So first let's go ahead and go around the box here and see what we get as uh, feature wise and all that stuff. Okay, so on the front here we get a picture of the machine and it shows you that you could do double shots. You can also do single shots, it gives you some information here. Uh, high pressure 15 bar, perfect for extraction and crema. Uh, this is Spanish and some other language, maybe French. Uh, Expresso and cappuccino machine, that's it, that's what you get on the front. On the side we get a little bit more information here. And uh, for this side it says you get a soul jet frother, you get a filter holder for pre grounded coffee or single cup pods. Yup. 35 ounce 1 liter removable water tank, that's uh, pretty cool as well. It's all in other languages here as well. So let's see what we get on the other side. That's about the same thing right there, just go over it quickly. It says a scoop and tamper, it gives you the basic instructions of what you'll need to do on the machine to use it. Uh, it says scoop and tamper, brew the froth, and then enjoy your coffee. It says it's as simple as that. So it gives you a little bit more information here, obviously. Uh, scoop, ground coffee, or single cup pots, gently brew, espresso, pour, the froth, milk. So yeah, it's very simple here. And uh, what you don't learn here, uh, you don't need really uh, big instructions or I should say long instructions in the box. You could always do uh, videos on YouTube on how to use the thing. So um, it's pretty basic things on the box. Maybe the instructions inside are better. I don't know. But let's see what else we have here on the back. So along back here, you get the uh, basic information parts on the actual machine. Number one will tell you it's the swivel jet froth regulator. Uh, easy to function selector. So it's a little bit on the front. Uh, swivel jet frother, which moves around a bit. Uh, tamper is on the machine, so if you don't like that, you may want to get uh, an external tamper to use as well. Um, the drip tray, which is removable, and the bottom part is removable as well. And it has a petted holder for pre-grounded coffee, so it's right there. Okay, so that's about it for the box. It's very simple. It gives you just the highlights of the machine, what you need to know. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing here to see what we get in the box, obviously. And uh, there we go, this opens like such. I'll check with the camera. So, this one actually cost me $89.99 here locally. Um, there's a uh, tax on that, and uh, I put a two year extended warranty for $14.99. So, about $105, $109, if I'm not mistaken, for what I remember. But given that all these machines kind of have a weird review online, they have like 3.5 stars at most, and a lot of people saying that they start leaking or whatever, so I just thought having a two-year warranty for 15 bucks is not bad, and if it does start leaking in time, I could go ahead and take it back. They don't even ask you for the receipt or anything. They tell me that with the phone number, they just look it up on the system, and they give you the warranty on that, and if they don't have the machine, they give you back the money, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know how's that gonna work, and I hope the machine lasts as long as that or maybe more but we'll have to see I just put it just in case so we get here the manual little scoop warranty card and a contact center brochure our service centers in the United States and Canada okay so that's what we get here in the little bag top cover off it's all nice and packed up in the little bag here we go New car smell. Bottom cover off. So here's the basic unit. That's what comes in the box. And what we have up here, there's a lot of tape in there, so let's take all these things out of here. Here's a little water tank. And over here, we have a little, this is a single shot if I'm not mistaken, and the double shot is in there. That's it, that's what you add in there. This is a cup warmer up here, and that's all that is in there. So we have here the little knob that you use to select what pressure you want to get off on the frother, which is here. It scribbles around a bit. Yeah, I'll go back. Selector up here, it's 
pretty nice. The tamper is here and that's uh, the reviews I've seen is not really that good of a tamper so if you're interested in getting something better there's a lot of recommendations to get to one so they're not that expensive they're like five ten dollars if you're looking for a simple thing if you're looking for something more expensive then that's another story altogether but basic should work and this is a beginner machine you're not gonna have a fancy high-end equipment for a machine that's not really a high-end machine it's a beginner or entry-level machine so don't try to go overboard on that put this in here there's a little card Let's get that out of there Let's see what it says uh, that's not in English okay turn it around espresso latte and cappuccino maker patent two-in-one sempre crema filter holder makes authentic rich espresso swivel Jeff Rodler I really it goes back <laughs> so maybe you have to hold it with your cup or whatever you're gonna use to froth the milk so that's about it for that card goes away so that's removable you want to clean it up let's take it out that's about it one of the basic things that you get on the feedback on this machine is that it's not that high so if you want to add higher cups or something for the froth you have to lift it up with something put something below it so not a problem for me I'm gonna use basic cups and stuff so uh, think it's not going to be a problem. I'll try it out in the second video I'm going to do, which is the actual test. Let's see um, all these little parts that come with it. Take it apart. A lot of tape everywhere. Obviously, got to wash all this before you use it. Allow it to dry. Let it rip. A little water reservoir. Cool. has a little ball there so actually when you connect it it seals up there's a little rubber grommet around it and everything so it, that's pretty cool have to wash the thing up as I said Let's get this out of here I should have got a blade yeah let's just peel it back there we go Okay, so single shot, double shot, little, here's a filter for the coffee, so that's pretty much it. If you're going to do a single shot like I'm going to do most of the time, for the moment, I'll use a little smaller one. If you want to do a double shot, well, obviously, there's a double shot as well. It has some little notches here that you could actually use to set up the cup. It has the parts there that go into that. The other one has them as well. Just put it in place and that's it. Has a little plastic grip there to clean it up if you want to do that. I've also seen people just cleaning it like this. That's it. That seems to be just about it for the unboxing actually. It's not that much parts. You get what you see on the table, that's about it. We have to go ahead and try it out. See if we can do the second part of this video with an actual test of the machine. Get it cleaned up, as I said. Let's see how hard this is to put in place there. Okay, there we go. There's no locking or anything. So you just have to push it in, not overdo it. It has a little arrow here. I should go with this arrow down there. So just push it so they kind of line up. And uh, once they line up down here and here, it doesn't have to be perfect, that's good to go. So, for now, I'm going to set the double shot up there. A little reservoir in here. And I'm not going to take the scoop out of here. I'm going to leave this closed up. 
set it aside just in case. Okay, so now that I got everything set up, I'm just gonna go ahead, clean everything up, let it dry, do the second part of this video, which will be the actual test of this machine.